Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to show you this nifty little tool called Object Painter. What it does and does not do. Let's get started. Hey, thanks so much for watching these videos. If you find value and education and information from my videos, would you please consider supporting me on Patreon over at patreon.com slash design build solutions. For as little as $2 or $5 a month, you can show your support and uh, help me cover the expense and uh, time of recording and producing these videos for you. I enjoy giving back, and uh, I'm asking, would you consider giving back as well? Thanks so much for that. Let's get into this uh, tip today. So I've got this little project I'm working on right now, and I'm working on this ceiling um, joist situation. I like to fill the uh, joists that are structurally, um, you know, structurally important. I like to fill them with red, and I like to color them red. Uh, just so that there's cor correlation between the plans and the renderings. So I've got the basic layout, and I want to show you this little object painter eyedropper. Uh, the um, keyboard shortcut is Shift B, as in boy. So you can also find that under Tools, Object Painter, and we'd start with the object eyedropper. I want to select the object that's going to be, um, I'm going to pull the, the properties from, and that is the, one of these two. This one here, and that turns into, let me go back, shift B. When I hover over it, you can see in the lower left hand corner right down here of my screen, it says object to pick. So I could pick a cab base cabinet. A, another base cabinet, the room, I could pick the tub here maybe, or the window, but I want the ceiling joist. Now I'm going to load properties to this room or this ceiling joist here. Now when I click you'll notice a couple things happen. Notice what does not happen in plan view, what does and does not happen in plan view, and notice what does and does not happen in the rendering. I'm going to load those properties to this uh, joist right there. Now this joist gained a red material and it gained length quite quickly. In plan view it gained length but it did not gain a fill. So what's happening there is um, we can select the properties to paint select the pro which properties we want to paint onto the new object. So I'm going to um, select those properties. I, this is what created the length. I don't need to be 144 inches long. Um, all the rest is fine. Layer, treated, include in schedule, drawing group, etc., etc. Uh, line style, Line style is default, line weight, line weight is default. Material, that's what painted this red. But there is no option for the fill color. Well, that's kind of it's kind of a bummer. I wish Chief would do that. So I'm going to deselect center line length and click OK. Now we'll select and paint this. Uh, let me zoom in on this. This um, ceiling joist. And you'll notice in the rendering, the only thing that changes is the red material. And at spacebar, go into my framing and pull this one back. Select the two of them and open them and do fill style solid red. And there we have what I'm looking for. It's a cool little tool. It works well with. Um, Rooms, if you change like floor height or uh, materials or moldings. Um, let's, let's just see what the room materials would pick up. Base moldings, cantilever, underside material, 
ceiling elevation, ceiling finishes. There's quite a bit in rooms that you could pick up. Um, shift B, let's pick up a window. Arch height, you can just see what areas, what things, there's a lot for windows here. Yeah. What could be painted um, onto, onto a new window. So that's our tool. Go into Tools, Object Painter, Object Eyedropper. Fun little tool. I hope this tips help, tip helps you this week. If you like this information, please drop a like down there. Hit the subscribe bell, uh, button and notification bell. Follow my website, designbuildsolutionsllc.com. And again, check out patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.